case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1955, the New York Court of Appeals heard the case of Crane v. New York World Telegram Corp., which centered on the principle that when faced with a defamation lawsuit, a defense must provide evidence supporting the truth of the specific accusation made rather than offering proof for a different allegation. A plaintiff sued a newspaper and its columnist for publishing a false and damaging item. The defendants claimed the item's veracity and presented two defenses in response. The plaintiff argued that the publication was not only false, but also intended to cause harm. The lower court dismissed both of the defendants' defenses. However, the appellate division subsequently overturned this decision. The New York Court of Appeals ultimately determined that the publication accused the plaintiff of being indicted for a crime by a grand jury. The defendants maintained that the item was accurate, citing widespread publicity and commentary from various sources. The court assessed the publication's language and how a reasonable person would interpret the words used. The court struck down the separate defenses as insufficient and sent the case back to special term for further proceedings. While it did not determine which specific facts the defendants could prove to reduce compensatory damages under general denial, the costs were granted to the prevailing party in both courts. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.